hi y'all okay i'm getting ready again for work and yes if y'all don't like it like my boobs are always hanging out i'm sorry like we're an ascension we're part of the ascension we're souls get over it if you don't like it please leave my channel okay um i'm getting ready i live in so it's too damn hot i don't care i wear shirts for work that's it i'm rambling that's it all right if you don't like it you can leave um anyway so i i wanted to share this is basically like a live like a uh, video video journal that i want to do um so in Luis's book and the how to obe book um he says that uh i believe i believe it's in his book i don't know for sure but it's in some type of book where that um you can actually meet up with people on the astral plane and have like a counseling with these people so like with people you're having problems with or people that um have caused you trauma in your life you can actually meet up with these people and kind of do like an astral counseling session um and i hadn't remember reading that and i was like oh shit um that is super cool like uh i didn't know it like i i was like dude that's awesome i didn't really ever think okay maybe this could happen with me or this is something i want to do but last night i was um talking with my guys and i was like uh calling them and like uh i usually like ask them for help like um i try not to be too specific i'm just like hey whatever i need to work on right now whatever i need help with right now can you guys help me with right now um so i always so i did that and uh i woke up this morning and i was like oh my god like what the experiences that i had in the astral last night was crazy and it was literally basically that um at the time i didn't really realize what was going on i think it was i was pretty i don't want to say low lucidity because i remember a lot but i wasn't high enough lucidity to understand that i was really in astral world i, I think i kind of thought it was sort of a little dream too but no this was much more so um it it was basically that so um but let me explain it's just so crazy i'm like oh my god i'm trying to get my head around it so um uh everybody who had caused me major who i've had major trauma with in my life so i'll share a few so like um both of my exes were in there so my last ex that had cheated on me a lot was in there and i was with him for about four years and then my son's dad who had cheated on me and we ended up getting divorced and just like horrible like trauma right um and my son's dad we broke up 10 years ago and i don't have like i feel like i don't have like no hard feelings for him um or like upset with him or whatever like i'm over it i'm happy now but at the end of the day trauma is still trauma and um what i went through with those experiences was really traumatic and that stays in your energy field and that stays in you whether you know it or not you know um so he was there um trauma with my mom like um i haven't talked to my mom in five or six years and that's like i've forgiven her or whatever but again like trauma still stays in your body trauma still stays in your energy field um you still deal with people that you love on a day-to-day -day basis from past trauma traumatic relationships so like these are things that need to be healed and especially back then i didn't know about healing energy so i'm i know for damn sure that stuff really did not get healed you know um and then there was a couple other people who i don't want to mention who were there for sure who and i remember one was like oh my god i didn't even realize like it, i was actually feeling some type of hurt from this person but yeah at the end of the day i'm like oh yeah like this comes up a lot you know almost um so the all these people were there and um it, it was it looked like it was a huge house like a big huge house and all these people were there um and uh the first person that i dealt with was my last ex the one that we were together for like four and a half years the one that cheated on me a lot um so he was the first one that we dealt with and it's crazy because him first i believe he was the least lucid of all like you could tell he really thought it was a dream just just how he was acting and the things he was trying to make me do and um uh anyway so uh i remember so we it's it's literally like a counseling so they had us in a room together and we were like trying to talk and like and we were talking and like going over stuff and going over literally past trauma um and uh with him i remember we we started fighting we eventually started fighting over something um 
and uh i don't want to say what but we eventually started fighting and uh they separated us they just took him away and like they separated us right and then they brought in the other people so then this is when i remember they brought in um my son's like son's dad they brought him in and then they brought my mom in and it was literally like a counseling session like it, like seriously like a counseling session in the astral plane and so I, like I don't remember exactly what like a lot because it was it was just a lot but I remember it was like that and we were going over these stuff and talking um and so yeah I guess uh what it's true that you can actually meet these people in the astral realm and I don't think they'll remember if like I don't I don't I really highly doubt my mom is into OBE and astral projection I highly doubt my son's dad is into that so if anything if they do remember it i think they'll just remember it as um a dream possibly a re really weird dream but yeah it was all these people who had caused me trauma and we were literally going into counseling together and honestly it's crazy to say but like i feel better like i feel i woke up this morning and i was like oh my god this is crazy like wow you know like um and it was like the whole dream you know how some dreams kind of like split up and do weird things no it was the whole dream where they and i remember we were stuck it, it was crazy so we were stuck in this house like nobody could leave nobody could leave there was no way you could leave um so like yeah like even i guess if one of the other dreamers or whatever like wanted to try to leave or wanted to leave they couldn't they could not leave um we had to stay in here in these like it was like I said, a big house, and sometimes they would separate like two or three of us, and it would just be us. But you couldn't leave the house. Um, so yeah, um, I woke up this morning, like, and I handled all this this trauma with these people and other people, like I said, who I don't want to mention. Um, and I did uh, counseling with them, and it was crazy. It was literally counseling on the astral plane. So yeah, I could say I could I have experienced this. It's it actually it's true. You could actually do it um so yeah if, if anybody's ever dealt this or done this or heard of this or something too or this has happened to you too i want to hear about it it was amazing so yeah i wanted to share with you guys i had to share so now i'm gonna finish getting ready for work and i'll see you guys later bye